everybody thanks for joining in uh, we'll be starting in couple of minutes uh, we'll just give some time for people to settle in thank you everyone who's joined in for this pre program information webinar for this chief operating officer program by i am now this is a very unique program which has delivered value to a lot of participants uh, over last several years, right? This is an 11-month-long program, uh, which is live online sessions by uh, top IIM Lucknow faculty with a five-day campus immersion and an IIM Lucknow executive alumni status. Uh, so uh, without waiting, we'll quickly move on and we'll talk about uh, the agenda of this webinar so we'll briefly talk about the program uh, we'll we'll briefly talk about the program details uh, we'll talk about i am lucknow uh, although it's uh, uh, everybody knows about i am lucknow then we'll talk about uh, i'll introduce our uh, faculty uh, the program directors who will be driving this program and guiding us through the entire 11th month journey uh, he'll, uh, they'll talk about the program highlights, they'll talk about who this program is for, um, they'll talk about the learning outcomes that we should expect from this program. We'll also go deep into program modules to see what kind of topics we'll be covering. And then we'll be talking about some very special additions to this program, like the Capstone Project where uh, the participants actually work on a live project uh, under the guidance of the faculty. Um, some simulations that happens within the program. Um, and then we'll talk, uh, we'll talk about the certification and we'll, be, we'll open up for Q&A. Uh, so without waiting, I want to, uh, I want to introduce uh, Professor uh, Jhakar. Uh, Professor Suresh K. Jhakar uh, is the chairman of operations management area at IIM Lucknow. Um, he's, uh, he's been teaching programs like revenue management, dynamic pricing, game theory, mechanism design, supply chain management, all the heavyweight programs which are essentially uh, required for developing an operationally efficient organization at IIM Lucknow. Um, he's, he has done his MTech from IIT Delhi and PhD from IIT Roorkee. He, uh, he, has, he has published uh, more than 35 research papers um, and uh, uh, in international journals, uh, uh, which, which are uh, widely recognized. Um, he also specializes in conducting training programs for executives from MNCs, PSUs, and bureaucrats. So he has a long range of experience working with top executives. Um, he has done more than 100 of these uh, programs. And um, I, uh, uh, I'm, really, I'm really happy to have uh, Professor Suresh K. Jhakar here to guide us through this program. Uh, this another program director, Professor Himanshu Rathor, uh, uh, in the program. But unfortunately, for some last minute commitments, he couldn't jo join the webinar today. Uh, but he also has a lot of uh, 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 cadres that I can talk about. Uh, he, he's, he works in the domain of combinatorial uh, optimization, metaheuristics, sustainability, innovations. Um, and what he, he specializes uh, in the economic viability and implications of environmentally efficient and socially sustainable aviation sector. That's a very interesting sector. Uh, for for to be focused but for now i'll invite professor jhakar to take it over and talk about the program professor please thank you ayush uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this webinar uh, so uh, you know uh, as you all know that we are in very exciting but disruptive time in the business history uh, you know the required skills and capabilities to excel in this uh, continuously evolving uh, dynamic business landscape are not very generic in nature and specifically the people who work at the senior level, uh, they have to continuously, uh, you know, uh, learn, unlearn and relearn. So uh, just to conclude, the change is the only constant in this uh, changing time. And uh, the fundamental question, I think, uh, you know, uh, in front of all of us that how as an individual organization and societies, 
uh, how can we how we can and must transform and we need to hit our refresh again and again in our uh, persistent quest of new energy new ideas uh, continual relevance and renewal so basically we have designed this program uh, ceo program which uh, fifth batch is going to enter uh, in earlier batches we have two to section also so effectively uh, it's going to be seven sections in terms of because the ceo batch one and another batch has two sections uh, 100 100 participants in each so we have uh, you know, an experience of running this program in, in last uh, four years, and uh, we have received various feedbacks, and all those things been incorporated into uh, continuously into our program. So, basic idea is that how can we make you, uh, you know, rethink, renew, re-energize, and truly rediscover your uh, individual and collective soul, so that. We are ready for all such future uh, opportunities and challenges which are going to uh, face. So uh, basically, uh, in this program, uh, it's an 11-month program uh, going to start uh, on June 30th, uh, the batch which we are now going to enroll people in. And uh, you know, this program is for leader uh, who can achieve operational efficiency by navigating through uh, complex organizational challenges, driving innovations, optimizing resources, and fostering uh, collaboration across teams. Uh, can we move next, Ayush? Uh, as you all know that I am Lucknow is double accredited business school. We are the fourth business school in the country. And uh, you know, last year we received rank six in NIRF, but this uh, keep on changing for that we had four. Uh, let's move next. Uh, so this program is live online sessions uh, from various senior faculty from all functional areas. Uh, and this is going to be three hours per week. On every Sunday, we will be meeting from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. And then also we are going to have the five days campus immersion uh, at the IM Lucknow, which would be at the uh, uh, you know, end of the programs, uh, which will announce uh, during the program. Uh, as you all know that uh, the business school uh, education is very different than uh, the education, let's say, in science, technology, and engineering, because uh, in business decisions, uh, things keep changing and the business landscapes keep evolving. So in that case, uh, developing multiple perspectives becomes very, very important. And for that, uh, you know, you will all know, not only be learning from the professors of IIM Lucknow or our, uh, you know, senior industry, uh, you know, professionals, but you also be having an opportunity to learn from each other's experience. So how, you know, you can crowdsource ideas, how you can, uh, you know, learn from other experience, for example, in the previous batch, which is going on, uh, let's say we have, you know, uh, 80 participants, average work experience of 15 years. So you can imagine that in various industries, it's very diverse industry. So if you combine the experience and expertise, it really becomes a big, big uh, resource. And specifically the people who have already completed this program, uh, you know, we continuously track their feedback and progress and they really, uh, you know, doing very well. So that's going to be about this program and uh, we have designed this program to have a very uh, diverse and immersive experience to the participants because uh, the lectures, the case studies, simulations, and most importantly, the capstone project is a very, very essential part of this uh, program. And after uh, completion of program, uh, uh, the participant will be having an opportunity to be uh, I am Lucknow executive alumni uh, status as well. Okay, let's move next. Ayush. So who is this program for? This chief operations of the program is suited for senior uh, professionals and uh, you know business leaders who wish to advance their strategic and functional knowledge in operational excellence and transition to a COO role. So either people who are very close or working at a CEO role or who aspiring to be uh, going to that role, for those people, uh, this program is being designed. 
Uh, as you know that when you reach at a senior level, you need or not only to understand uh, operations in great detail, but you also need to understand uh, the other functional area also, because you need to have 360 degree views of your uh, organization. So that's why uh, we have designed this program. And specifically, we have uh, you know incorporated uh, the role of uh, technology, uh, specifically the digital technology, which definitely going to uh, uh, disrupt uh, the industry and how you can uh, be equipped and ready for the same. Yeah, this program is for uh, any graduate or diploma holder uh, and minimum 10 years of work experience. And uh, just to make sure that the uh, basic uh, sanctity check, we have set up a you need to have minimum 50% in your graduation or so diploma or post graduation. And candidates should be working while uh, doing this program. Uh, you know, although uh, people might keep on changing job or might not be having job at some point of time, but that's okay. Currently, we need people who are working. Uh, the reason being that because in Capstone project, we'll be taking some uh, industry specific problem and we want them to work on uh, real life problems. Yeah, next. So key takeaway, as you can see that build a contemporary understanding of digital and engineering operations management, uh, enhance your leadership capabilities to drive value chain innovations and bottom line results, and achieve better functional optimizations to strengthen cross discipline integration and collaborations, uh, transform operations, gain competitive advantage, and uh, uh, lead uh, high performing teams with customer centric approach to boost operational efficiency. So these are the key takeaways we are uh, you know, anchoring upon so that we can uh, achieve those uh, takeaways and participants once they complete this program uh, should be uh, having skill and capabilities on these uh, you know, areas. Yeah, next slide. So here uh, we'll talk about, it's a broad outline of program modules. Uh, we start our module one with the program, which is basically understanding operations at strategic, tactical, and operational levels. We start from broad strategic level and go to deeper uh, to operational level and understand uh, you know, operations because uh, without understanding operation in detail, uh, you will, it's very difficult to manage large scale operations in large organizations. So that's why the first module is operation strategy and business excellence. And finance plays a very, very important role. And uh, whatever decisions and actions uh, senior management take, the ultimate yardstick of the impact of those decisions would be uh, enhancing financial performance and the financial implication of their decisions. So for that, we need to understand financial metrics, balance sheet, financial statement, and other financial uh, ratios, which need to be understood in detail. So that's why we have designed a full-fledged module on business finance. And these are the broad topic, as you can see here uh, on your screen. Yeah, next slide. Uh, then, as you know that the leadership skills and capabilities plays a very, very uh, important role. And for that, we have, have a, had a module called Become an Effective Leader. And I'm a very senior faculty and currently director of I'm Lucknow take this module. Uh, the first thing is that uh, in organizations, uh, ultimately the humans who works in organizations and, uh, you know, it's very difficult to understand humans. So uh, we uh, basically first uh, you know, topic in this that how do we understand ourselves first, our strength, weaknesses, uh, capabilities, and how do we understand others? And then after understanding how can we unleash the leadership potential, uh, how power and politics impact organizational functions and decision making, uh, conflict and negotiation management, because that's very, very important, uh, you know, and how to take care of emotional well-being of your team, and how as a senior executive, you can motivate people to uh, in the global environment and how can you can achieve uh, or design uh, that your goals are aligned with the uh, organization's goals. And then uh, we move next to strategic leadership. 
uh, how strategy is being formed, how to analyze strategies, define the purpose of strategic leadership, uh, formulating different business strategies for competitive advantage, uh, how can we diversify and how manage performance, uh, understanding merger and acquisitions, and finally, we also uh, consider, uh, you know, uh, corporate governance and sustainability concern because sustainability is going to be very, very important in time to come. That's why we try to include those contemporary topics which are very relevant and going to be uh, relevant in the time to come. Yeah, next, Ayush. Then we go to uh, organization transform through design thinking. Uh, so it's very innovative and novel topic uh, which we are incorporating into our uh, this module and specifically design thinking these days is very very important how can we uh, make people think innovatively and find innovative solutions to our uh, today's and tomorrow's complex business problems for that uh, you know uh, right starting from mapping consumer journey to uh, draw actionable insights and then uh, navigating through digital transformations, uh, capitalizing uh, on opportunities created by disruptive technology. So this, this module is also a very core part of this. And then uh, whatever the strategy or thinking we have, uh, communicating that effectively to inside organizations and the outside stakeholders, uh, the customers, shareholders, uh, or uh, your society at large plays a very, very important role. And in my opinion, uh, communications plays a very, very important role and the importance and impact of communications, uh, you know, increases when you move up in the ladder of organizations. That's why we believe that, uh, you know, managing uh, crisis and communicating well is very, very important. That's why we have uh, this module uh, on corporate communications and how corporate communication is different than uh, the other communications, we try to uh, explain this through various crisis case studies and uh, real life uh, examples. Next, Ayush. Uh, once we understand a broad strategic view, then we go a little deeper on two aspects. One aspect is uh, what are the recent development in operations, uh, specifically how the role of information and technology plays in supply chain, how we need to transform supply chain digitally and specifically the recent advances of industry 4.0, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, blockchain technology, internet of things and the future of supply chain network. So that's a very important role to understand operation in details and specifically the future ready. And then we say, okay, uh, for senior executive, it's not only to managing your own operations, but also coordinating with your supply chain partner because the competition in present era is not between two organizations, but rather one supply chain compete against another supply chain. And that's why, and specifically in post COVID world, the role and importance of supply chain is growing uh, in its relevance and significance. That's why, we design a module supply chain and operational excellence, uh, module eight of this program. Next, Ayush. And then we say, okay, the most important lever in any organizations, which various study in the past indicate that uh, if you improve your price by 1%, that's going to have highest impact on your profitability uh, as compared to, let's say you improve your variable cost or fixed cost or let's say sales volume by 1%. So pricing is a very, very important, but most misunderstood construct in organizations and uh, having right price at the right time is very, very important. That's why, uh, you know, pricing and specifically in the future where more and more selling is going to happen through online, uh, how can we make our price right? Specifically uh, when we had opportunity to have a lot of data, and other aspect we have included here in this module is uh, auctions because uh, you know not a lot, uh, not many organizations involved in various types of auctions for buying and selling operating and services. So how to how different type of auctions works, how to design the right auctions, and which auctions to choose. And finally, we also say how auctions happens for advertisement, like for example on Google and Facebook. And the last but not least, the most important module of this program is capsule project. 
where uh, you will be divided into diverse teams and then we'll be uh, working on a real life uh, project uh, under the guidance of faculty member of IIM Lucknow. And then you need to present that uh, you know outcome of your project uh, to the program directors and faculty members, and you will be evaluated on that uh, you know uh, module also. This is broad uh, program modules. Uh, let's move next science. Uh, so this uh, capsule project simulation because uh, you know whatever you learn in through cases and other uh, you know. Uh, teaching and learning methods, uh, you need to apply that in real time. That's why for some uh, topics, we include simulations. And then finally, the project, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, applying all those learnings in that uh, project. Yeah, next. Uh, specifically, we include, uh, you know, uh, understanding customers, understanding demand, and then managing that demand through various prices. So that's why we included a hands-on simulation on pricing. Uh, so how can you manage your business? And you will see that uh, simply by 1% varying price, how you can increase your uh, profitability or uh, you know uh, have a loss depending upon how well you manage this price. So I will include this uh, simulation in this uh, program uh, also. Yeah, next. Uh, then, uh, you know, uh, after completion of program, uh, you know, you will be having an opportunity to be part of IIM Lucknow's executive alumni status because uh, these programs runs under the executive education office and you will be having. And uh, yeah, so that's you can read here on the screen all other benefits uh, and they are must be there for the brochure also. Yeah. Next, Ayush. Uh, after completing the program, you will receive a certificate from I am Lucknow. Uh, certificate will look like this: that uh, you know you have successfully completed Chief Operations Officer program, uh, starting from June till uh, so the program is going to end in May. Uh, you know, uh, so May twenty five, and that will be having. Uh, the signature uh, and seal of program directors and uh, the chairman of our uh, executive education program. Next. Yeah, so uh, that's a, a brief overview about this program. So Ayush, uh, you can, if you're participant, ask any question, uh, you know, uh, would be happy to answer those questions. So yeah, we are open for questions. So please drop your questions in uh, Q&A. Uh, Professor, we already have some questions. Uh, uh, so the first question is, what degree certificate will be awarded post-completion? I think we just covered that in the previous slide. So uh, we, we're going to skip that one. Um, but then uh, Deepak, the same individual, has asked uh, multiple in, uh, interesting questions. Um, so one question is, Professor, would this program be target into uh, who this program is for target individual who wants to transition from one field uh, to strategy uh, successful management leaders. Um, so, uh, will this program be suitable for people who are transitioning uh, from one field to another? Is one Absolutely. question. So, this program is designed to increase your skills and capabilities to lead organizations, and specifically the people who want to transition from middle level management to senior level management. Uh, this program is designed for these people. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, so, so another question on the same line was uh, what positions one could achieve for current technical positions? So there are like a lot of people are into technical roles these days. And uh, how would this program help them uh, uh, achieve uh, transformation? Yeah. So basically, uh, people who are in technical role, they work in a specific function. But in order to be a C-suit executive, you need to have a 360 degree views of an organization. As you can see uh, in the program module, we have uh, you know, modules on uh, you know, very diverse topics like strategy, uh, finance, uh, you know, leadership, communications, uh, uh, then digital transformations, design thinking. This program is basically for the people who are working in a specific domain at a technical role, and now they want to transition to senior management role. And for that, they require 
uh, skills and capability which goes beyond the technical capabilities uh, to understand organization from strategy to operational level. So that's why this program is specifically for those people who either currently has reached to those senior c suit level or, uh, you know, uh, trying to, uh, you know, uh, reach uh, those senior levels. Uh, the change, other aspect of this that, uh, you know, you might be working in a specific domain, you might, uh, you know, diversify uh, into various domains after the completion of this program. Yeah. So, Professor, on uh, on another uh, question for who is this program for, uh, it, somewhere in the presentation it was mentioned that uh, this program is for people who are CXOs or aspiring CXOs. So, the question is that is the program restricted to people who are immediately before below a CXO uh, or it uh, is no. open? For, yeah. No, no, it's not only you are just one step. CXO, you may be a couple of letters below CXO, but you aspiring. So aspiring is the key point here. People who are ex expiring, uh, aspiring to be at that role uh, in due course of time and uh, need not to be CXO or if they're CXO, that's good, uh, or couple of letters below CXO also. Uh, but that is no, this program is not for very entry level people who basically uh, you know, let's say just started working or at a very lower level because uh, that is for middle to senior level people. Definitely transitioning from middle to senior is the goal of this program. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much, Professor. Uh, I hope, Deepak, this was helpful for your questions. Uh, now, Harsh Bhatt has asked the question. Uh, this is also on who this program is for. Uh, so, uh, Harsh asks, Having the 360 degree view of a comp uh, of a company's operation is not something that comes naturally. If possible, expand on how one can get 360 degree view of his or her company's operations while working at senior level. Additionally, share some generic titles. What can be considered as senior role in a company? That's the question, Professor. Okay, so uh, you see. Having title, same title may not be reflecting that, for example, let's say if you're working in a banking sector, uh, becoming the starting role could be assistant vice president, vice president. But if you're working in a manufacturing, uh, vice president is very senior role. So defining title could vary from uh, a particular sector or industry to industry. So that may not be the right uh, approach. Uh, so what was your first question I used? Okay, first point that... Yeah. So basically developing the 360, view, okay. 360 yeah, degree view yeah. of a company's operations is difficult. How can one Correct. do that? Yeah. yeah. So what I mean by 360 degree view is that uh, although you must be working in a particular function, uh, but ultimately the success of organization is a cumulative effort of all the functions. So now let's say you're working in uh, some technical role and you must be understanding your function well and role function, but how your function integrates with other functions and how, uh, you know, right from understanding customer's requirement and transitioning those requirements into product and service, then designing a process, uh, delivering, uh, you know, the required product and service to the customers and post-sale things. So entire life cycle involved uh, multiple functions and decisions, then uh, the leadership capability is, uh, the function uh, finance, making or strategy. Since this program have module from various functions. So once you understand those using various uh, success and failure case studies, uh, you will be able to gain deeper insights and specifically how multiple functions correlates with each other. So that's why if you see, when you go through multiple modules, delivered by our senior faculty members and by some of the industry senior experts, you can learn from other experience. So basically here, you might reach to those senior level, let's say in 15 years, our goal is that, how can we crash that 15 years to three years, four years? And that can only be done when you learn from others experience. So other experience could be your fellow participants and specifically the various cases which is going to be uh, discussed uh, during this module. So we have 
seen in the past because this is effectively the sixth, uh, you know, uh, uh, a batch going to come uh, because we had a couple of sections in earlier batches. So, uh, you know, when participants complete these programs, they say that we never thought that, uh, you know, uh, organization works like this, how organization strategy being formulated, how those strategy being communicated to, uh, you know, the employees and all. So, uh, people really get benefit a lot while uh, learning various, uh, you know, functions in great detail. Thank you so much, Professor, for answering that. Hope Harsh is that that's uh, helpful. Uh, then, Professor Prem, uh, Professor uh, Prem Nath uh, Tedla has asked the question um, that um, they have completed BTEC uh, in Tripoli and MBA in operations. Um, they are forty nine years of uh, age. They have twenty eight years of experience in asset management, um, operations, and maintenance of hydropower plants. Uh, would this course be helpful for their career growth? Um, uh, so that that's... yes, because uh, you know, I think these kind of profiles are very suitable for this program uh, because you have uh, you know had uh, some experience, and now once you go through this program uh, designed for senior uh, level, so in that case, it will help you to uh, transition from those function specific domain to a senior level while understanding various aspects. Because I I believe you must have done your MBA. Uh, 10, 15 years back, uh, so 49, uh, I'm sure at least 15 years, 15, 20 years back, you must have done your MBA. Uh, now this program would be a very, you know, uh, apt for uh, rebrush on the concept you must have gone through in MBA and specifically the uh, recent changes, because as I mentioned at the beginning, remark that uh, the required skill and capabilities are not very generic and not very portable. So you need to uh, learn, unlearn, and relearn. That's very, very important for uh, you know growth and progress of any individual and organization. So I think it's going to be helpful. Yeah. Thanks, Professor, for answering that. Uh, then uh, Hemlata uh, Konakola, uh, sorry if I'm uh, pronunciating your name incorrectly, but they have asked, uh, what are the opportunities uh, we will be getting once after completing this course? They are working as a senior project manager at this point in time. So how could they see their career progress uh, from the learnings of this program? Yeah, so uh, we at I am Lucknow of the firm believe that there's no dearth of opportunities, uh, you know, specifically in, uh, you know, growing country like India. The only thing is that we need to have the required skills and capabilities to uh, match the supply and demand. So here supply is the capabilities and demand is the, uh, you know, organizations looking for those professionals. So uh, the real yardstick uh, for success of any program is, uh, you know, how program is able to enhance those skill and capabilities and how people are happy and, you know, uh, transitioning into various roles. So although that varies from individual to individual, their experience and all those things, but, uh, you know, there's no dearth of opportunity as such. If you really have those skills and capabilities, uh, you know, uh, which are required to excel in this time, you will be having a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Thanks, Professor. Uh, then uh, Khali, uh, Khalid Khan has asked a question. Is this program a good one to target leadership roles in IT and ITES industries? So basically, uh, this program is for senior. They could be in IT industry. They could be in airline industry. They could be in manufacturing industry. They could be in any other service industry. So uh, usually, since our past, we have completed uh, you know, uh, five, six batches. So uh, our experience, uh, you know, and, and, and based on the past data, people come from very diverse industries. Some might be coming from financial sector, some could be from IT. So as you can see that at senior level, there are certain skills which are agnostic to sec sec sector specific and some skills are uh, very relevant to particular sector. 
So we, when we are targeting people who are working in a particular industry, we assume that those people have those industry specific technical skills. The program will provide you the skills, the extra skills you require to transition from this technical role to senior role. And those skills are, majority of skills are common across industries. And our belief that when you move at senior level, it's not necessarily that you're managing a particular industry, you might transition to different industry as well. So that's why uh, if you're working in any sector, uh, this program would be designed to transition from a technical role to senior role. So that's an idea of, of, of this program. So I think it's suitable for you as well. Perfect. Thank you so much, Professor. Um, then uh, uh, Ram Parvesh says, I'm just going forward. So uh, probably he's, uh, he has a question later on. So maybe he continued later. But uh, before that, Kaiser Said asked the question. Uh, he first thanked for the nice presentation. Thank you, Said, that you liked it. Uh, uh, so for working professionals, how much time work do we need to ded uh, dedicate to complete this program successfully? That's the question, Professor. Right. So as you can see that, uh, you know, uh, we understood, understand that people are working, they have families, they have other commitments. So uh, definitely three hours of the class time is very, very uh, essential. You have to be there. Other than that, if anyone is devoting two to three hours every week, uh, that is sufficient for this program. However, we have seen in the past that some people who really spend more time and gain more skills and knowledge from this program. So it, it's, it's like a, you know, uh, uh, how much effort you will put in, the more uh, knowledge and skill you will gain from that. But minimum uh, five to six hours of times uh, will be required every week from your side. Thank you, Professor. Uh, so Ram Parvesh has asked a technical question, Professor. Uh, he is asking, what should be the criteria of EBITDA while making annual budgets? Um, so I think, um, yeah. Please. Okay. <laughs> so we will be discussing in finance module in great detail. So, so it's, a, uh, you know, uh, budgeting and all. And we have specific module in finance. Right? If you start going deeper into those concepts, then we may be starting the program itself here. Yeah, yeah Professor. We, uh, we will be having people from a finance area who are going into detail because, uh, you know, uh, I belong to operations group. So my expertise lies in operational capabilities. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thanks for answering. Uh, then, um, uh, so uh, then Kelet Khan has asked one, one more question. How can this program help uh, a seasoned seller IC role to move ahead to mid-leadership role? So somebody who's in sales uh, to move to leadership role is something that they want to understand. Yeah, so I, I think I answered this uh, question earlier that, uh, you know, what skill and abilities do we require for leadership role? Yeah, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Suresh, Professor Suresh. Uh, then we'll quickly move to. Uh, could you please elaborate the five-day campus immersion? What happens on that during the program, uh, and approximate time month of the year it would happen, and also the cost covered in the fees. Uh, I'll ask to answer the cost piece. Basically, uh, 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 the 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 stay the the. The program and the five day program that is covered in the fees, but basically the the participants will have to manage their own travel, uh, as what I understand. Um, uh, if sorry if I'm wrong, but Professor, please you can take a question. Yeah, yeah. So th that's right. So uh, I believe the course fee include uh, those things. Uh, extra would be your travel, which you have to manage by yourself. So usually in five-day program, you arrive a day before the starting of campus immersion module. And those five days are the most exciting time of this program. And, you know, people who must have gone to college 20, 30 years back, they had opportunity to relive those college life. And we have those five days are fully packed for uh, uh, you know, case discussions, uh, then project presentations, and the last day is a 
the validation of the program where certificates are given and then uh, some group photographs and other things happens. And then also along with that, we have some cultural activity planned, like, you know, uh, program dinner night with a lot of singing, dancing and all those things. So it's very, uh, you know, comprehensively designed to give you a good immersive experience. Thank you, Professor, for answering that. Then uh, Colonel C.A. Raj has asked a question uh, regarding the project with industry. Which all industries will be working on, uh, working uh, in for the project? Yeah, so that is something which is being decided once we complete 50% of the program. And usually we try to identify uh, relevant and exciting uh, problems and uh, we encourage people to choose problem from uh, their current or future roles which they are aspiring and then divide teams and then doing that project. So that could vary uh, from group to group because every group has to do a separate project. Usually we divide participant into five or six people in every group where some people have some experience of a finance, some will be having experience of operations and others, and then uh, they will be working on a particular project. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. Uh, so the next question, Professor, we have from Giriji uh, Dampur. Uh, I, I have already worked uh, in a. I have already worked in a small organization for thirty years, uh, and specifically fifteen years in operation. Will this be suitable for me? Uh, but uh, they are a college dropout, and they have only pursued uh, BCom. Will they be eligible considering their experience? Um, so, yeah, so our requirement is any graduation is 50%. So, uh, if you pursued BCom, then you are a graduate. So, I'm not sure what you mean by college dropout, then BCom. So, if you have, if you are dropout from graduation, then you will not be eligible. But if you have done your graduation, then you are eligible. Uh, as far as the experience part is concerned, you have 30 years of experience in working small organizations. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, some skill and ability you must be having, but how to manage operations in large organizations require different skill capabilities and uh, program deals and dwells into those aspects as well. Yeah, thanks for answering that. Uh, then Pramod Sharma is answer, asking that what would be the batch size of this program? Uh, so, Professor, you can talk about the previous batch sizes you might have seen. Yeah, so... Uh, in some of the batches, since we had a large number of participants and then after, you know, we go through a screening process. So since you apply to this program, your application comes to us and we see the relevant experience and all. And usually we try to have a batch of 60 people in every batch because a lot of case discussions requires. So we ideal batch is 60, around 60 people, but that would be plus minus 5, 10. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, then, then the next question uh, is from uh, Nambiraj uh, Kirup uh, Bakram. Uh, and sorry for my pronunciations over here. Uh, but they are asking that they have been working in pro procurement and supply chain operations. Would this program be relevant for them to grow in their organization? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Uh, then uh, another question that we have is from Pramod Sharma. Uh, they are asking that why is this program for only 11 months? Is there a way, I think the question is around why we have designed it for 11 months. And uh, yeah. yeah, so basically, uh, you know, uh, we have different uh, modules and then we have done uh, our background calculation, how many hours of engagement you require. And based on those content and topics, and then uh, it turns out to be 11. It could have been 10, could have been 12. So there's no as such 11 number as a logic. And usually sometimes, you know, uh, capstone project sometimes, uh, you know, takes a little more time. It might be 12 months also. It's not very hard and fast that 11. It could be less than 11. It could be slightly more than 11, but on average 11. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. And I think we have the last question. Uh, uh, so, Premnath Tidila have asked another question. Is this uh, program going to be difficult to complete or they can complete it easily? I think, Professor, uh, nothing comes easy in life, but uh, I'm sure that the uh, time commitments that you have already mentioned uh, are not exclusively high and somebody can easily do them if they are regular with the program. But please, please answer the question. 
Yeah, so although we understand that, uh, you know, people who are doing this program are working in full time in organization, so they have their commitment for the for their organization. No organization is going to give you less work if you're doing something for your own growth and prosperity. And you also, uh, you know, must be having family, living society, a uh, lot of family commitments and, you know, functions. So we, we understand that. That's why the requirements are like three hour sessions and then two hour, uh, you know, reading case or analyzing cases. So I don't think that's very difficult to do. Uh, but definitely, uh, you know, this program, the goal is to increase your skills and capabilities and knowledge. And the more effort you put in during that, the more value you can derive from that. So requirement of point of view is not that difficult, but for your own knowledge and skill point of view, the more you spend time, the more you will be, uh, you know, uh, skilled at things which are going to be discussing that. Perfect. Thank you so much, Professor, for answering those questions. Uh, and uh, this uh, we, we will be able to close our webinar at a very good note. Just before that, I want to share some information uh, about Emeritus, who's the technical partner on this program. Um, Emeritus has 12 plus years of ex experience uh, enhancing careers with 55 plus universities and 450 plus programs. Um, we have 2.5 million learners across 156 60 uh, countries with 300 plus leading faculty members like Professor Suresh here. Um, and just some information on the program. Um, you, If you need any more information on the program, you can reach out on this mobile number uh, that is shared. Uh, any of our dedicated program advisors can answer uh, this. Or you can directly write us to on this email, iml.execed uh, at the rate emberitis.org. Or you can WhatsApp. Uh, us also on this number with email and whatsapp uh, we try to uh, uh, respond to your queries within 24 hours but on weekends and holidays it may take up to 72 hours uh, um, but we'll try to resolve any of your queries at the earliest um, so I think we we can close the webinar at this good note, and I really I hope this uh, professor and the team over here was able to impart some clarity about the program, and we hope to see you in the program. Thanks everyone. Thank you, thank you, professor. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you everyone, and wish you all the best for your future endeavor. Thank you. So I think I wish you are done. So I yeah. can leave now. Yes. Thank you, professor. Thank you. Bye.